We are in Frieden of Organic Estate on the outskirts of Somerset West. We will be speaking to the owner regarding the journey of creating this beautiful organic estate. Uh, we come from Switzerland and uh, in 2002 uh, we moved here to South Africa and bought this farm. Uh, and uh, we were very concerned right from the very beginning about good nutrition and good health. Uh, all over the world people suffer from many different uh, diseases and afflictions, uh, many of which are caused by poor nutrition and many of which are caused by additives that are put into our food chain. So we have tried to analyze the food chain and to keep it very clean and very healthy. We have never put any artificial chemical fertilizers on our land. We have not used any pesticides, insecticides or herbicides at all. The way we, can we control the weeds is, <laughs> uh, is very manual. We employed about five people who do nothing but weed manually from one end of the farm to the other. When they finish, they go back and start again. Crop rotation is a very important feature of organic farming. If one has a monoculture and grows the same crop in the same land year after year, uh, that crop takes out all of the nutrients from the soil that it requires, and then the soil is depleted, and therefore one has to use more fertilizers. Compost is a very important and vital part of organic farming. And so we have a huge compost making operation here on the farm. Every day we get truckloads of green material, which includes grass cuttings, uh, leaves, uh, branches. We put them through a, uh, a wood chipper and then we make compost. We also have 300 chickens on this farm uh, and have organic eggs and so we add the chicken manure to the compost and we mix it and we go through the whole procedure of making compost and then we use our own compost on our land. Really the big problem with organic farming in South Africa is that there is no clear legislative framework that defines and describes and regulates organic farming. Uh, in Europe in general and in Switzerland in particular, there's a very clear legal framework that says this is what organic farming means and if you want to call yourself, claim to be organic, then you must comply with these regulations. Because there is no established regulatory framework in South Africa, anybody can claim to be organic even when they do not comply with European procedures. I regret to say it, but a lot of farming is chemical warfare against nature. Uh, we try to work with nature and mobilize the positive aspects of nature to, to reinforce our efforts and to assist us. There are natural substances which, um, which work as to, to repel bugs. Like for instance, we grow a lot of onions and spring onions. Some bugs do not like the smell of spring onions. So if we plant rows of spring onions in between our rows of lettuces, we get far less pests on the lettuces. But with organic farming, one just has to accept that there will be some bugs around. One cannot ever get rid of them all uh, using organic methods. But we managed to keep it uh, under control so that we have very good quality vegetables, as you'll see in our shop. We have beautiful lettuces, beautiful carrots, beautiful beetroot, beautiful spinach uh, that we can grow uh, very, very well without resorting to any poisons. This, this is our mission in life. We want to provide good, healthy, clean nutrition for our customers. And we are aware of the fact that many of the health problems that people have are the result of ingesting poisons that are in the food supply. And we want to give them good nutrition to restore their health.